guys, Taylor here from Music Matcher. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson. I'm going to show you how to sound instantly awesome on your guitar using just a couple simple tricks. Basically, we're going to learn uh, a scale that goes up and down the entire guitar neck, and we're going to learn a really cool trick called droning that you're going to do with your thumb to give you some background uh, sound so that you can sound really cool right away. Don't worry, this is a very beginner-friendly lesson as well, uh, as you only need to play one string at a time, but you can also get a little more complicated than that uh, if you'd like to. So. Let's go ahead and just dive right into everything and start learning this stuff so that you can sound great on your guitar with this really cool trick. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start learning this awesome little trick that's going to allow you to play up and down the entire neck. You're only going to need to play one string at a time uh, and you're going to sound awesome. So <laughs> this is very beginner friendly, uh, but it's also just great for whatever skill level you're at. So it's just a really cool trick to have under your belt. So here's how it's going to work. We're going to be playing in the key of E major today. We're not going to be playing any chords. We're just going to be playing single notes uh, up and down the guitar neck on each string. And we're going to play those in the key of E major. So our first step is just to kind of learn the notes of the E major scale going up and down the strings. And so I'm going to go ahead and put the notes of the E major scale on screen for you and we're gonna go through it string by string. And I'm not gonna get into a whole lot of detail as to why those are the notes of the E major scale in this lesson. Uh, that might be a lesson for uh, a little more music theory based lesson. But today we're just gonna learn those notes on each string and then I'm gonna show you how to put this together in a way that's gonna get you sounding awesome. And I'll give you a little hint or a little preview. It has to do with uh, finger picking and playing with your thumb on this low E string. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and learn the notes of the uh, E major scale on the first string here. So on the high E string we're going to start with a zero and that's going to be our E note and then we're going to go to the second fret which is going to give us an F sharp, the second note in the E major scale. We're then going to go to the fourth fret that's going to give us a G sharp. We're going to go to the fifth fret that's going to give us an A. The seventh fret is going to give us a B. The ninth fret is going to give us a C sharp. The eleventh fret is going to give us a D sharp. And the twelfth fret is going to bring us back to E an octave higher than the open E string where we started. So just going up the neck here on one string, those are all the notes of the E major scale. We got E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, and E. All right? So just knowing that one little scale uh, will give you the ability to sound really cool. And let me go ahead and show you how you can uh, use your thumb and use some finger picking to put that together. All right, so we just learned the notes of the E major scale going up the high E string. And at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, Taylor, you lied to me, that doesn't sound very cool. <laughs> but don't worry, we are gonna add the cool part in right now. So you would be right in saying that just playing those notes on their own doesn't sound all that cool, right? Not super exciting. But what we can do is basically add a background tone uh, to start making this sound really cool. And the way we're gonna do that is to basically do what's called drone the low E string. So remember, we're playing in the key of E, so we can play this low E string as kind of our background sound. And then we can uh, play those notes on the high E string uh, along with that. So essentially what you would do is use your thumb to play that low E string, and you can use your index finger to pluck that high E string. And you can start moving your way uh, through that scale on the high E string while droning that low E string. So now we're starting to sound pretty cool, right? Now it's a little bit tough to just kind of keep that thumb going automatically at first if you haven't done that a whole lot yet. So the alternative is to basically just kind of play that open E string uh, essentially whenever you can, right? So you can kind of just do like one big pluck and then do like another big pluck. 
So your goal is basically just to use that low E string to drone that sound and just try and keep that low E ringing as much as possible. You can keep your thumb going consistently if you want, or you can kind of just play it uh, whenever it feels comfortable. But just try and get that low E string to drone out in the background. And you could play around with the notes of the E major scale on the high E string to start making some cool music with it. So now that we've covered the high E string and now that you get the idea of droning, let's look at the notes of the E major scale on a few other strings so that you can play this with more strings than just the high E string. Let's look at the B string next. Okay, cool. So we learned the notes of the E major scale on the high E string. Let's go ahead and do that again, but let's go through it on the B string. So now we're gonna start with our open B. So we're still playing the E major scale. We just happen to be starting with an open B because we're playing on the B string right now. So we're starting on a B in the E major scale. So we're still gonna play all those same notes. Uh, we're just gonna play them on the B string. So we start with B. Our second fret is a C sharp. Then we go to the fourth fret for a D sharp. E on the fifth fret. A um, F sharp <laughs> on the seventh fret, G sharp on the ninth fret, A on the tenth fret, back to B on the twelfth uh, fret. All right, so we just learned the notes of the E major scale now on the B string, and you can go ahead and do the same little trick, right? You're gonna use your thumb to drone that low E and you can play the B string notes up and down the neck to start making some cool music with that. fast right there you could also do it slow right you could just do big kind of hits of that low E string whenever you feel comfortable with it so you don't have to do it super fast you could do whatever feels comfortable for you your goal is to just play the notes of the scale on that string in this case the B string and just drone that low E uh, however feels most comfortable to you Okay, so going through the notes of the E major scale on the G string now, we're actually gonna start with the first fret. We don't wanna open G because a regular G isn't in the key of E major. We want a G sharp, which is gonna be the first fret of the G string. Then we're moving up to the second fret, which is an A. Fourth fret is B. We move to the sixth fret, that's a C sharp. The eighth fret, a D sharp. Ninth fret is E. Eleventh fret is our F sharp. And the thirteenth fret brings us back full circle to that same G sharp that we started on on the first fret. All right, so we just learned the notes of the E major scale going up and down the G string. And again, you can go ahead and use our droning trick with our thumb to start making that sound cool. on the D string next. All right, let's take a look at the notes on the D string. So again, we're still gonna be playing all the notes in the key of E major, but we're gonna be playing them along the D string. So we're gonna start with the first fret of the D string. That is a D sharp note. Same idea as with the G string. We don't wanna open D 
because that is not a note that's in the key of E major. We want a D sharp, which is gonna be the first fret. So we're gonna start on the first fret, then we're gonna to move to the second fret. That's gonna give us our E. Fourth fret is gonna be our F sharp. The sixth fret is our G sharp. Seventh fret A. Ninth fret B. 11th fret C sharp, and the 13th fret will bring us back full circle to D sharp, the same note we started on. All right guys, we just learned all the notes of the E major scale on the D string, going up and down the neck, and again, go ahead and use your little droning trick to start making that sound really cool. And of course, you can combine those notes and put them in any order you want, so be creative with it, but just play that scale up and down that string and drone with that thumb. That is a really great way to start sounding awesome and a really cool trick uh, where you can play up and down the entire neck, drone that E string, and just play in the E major scale. Now, of course, we did one string at a time, which is a great way to do it to start, but you can obviously do uh, the combinations with multiple strings, right? So you can play a little bit on the E string, B string, So you guys get the idea. Basically what we did there is we learned the notes of the E major scale on four different strings. You can also do that with the A string uh, if you'd like. Uh, it gets a little bit you know, deeper. It's kind of a little too close to that low E sometimes uh, to use that one as often. So you're gonna mostly be using the D, G, B, and high E string uh, for this little trick. But you can absolutely do it with the A string as well if you want to play the notes of the E major scale on the A string up and down. And that way you can go through all the strings uh, and go up and down the neck in the key of E major and just keep droning that low E to give yourself that background noise, uh, that background sound. And then you can start to be creative with it. Put those notes in different combinations, go one string at a time, combine multiple strings, however you guys want to do it. Uh, but hopefully that gives you some fun stuff to play with. And the idea is that, of course, when you pick up your guitar, you can kind of instantly sound cool uh, and sound like uh, you, know, you know what you're doing. So uh, hopefully that is a cool trick for you guys to kind of spice things up for you. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe uh, if you found this video valuable to help support the channel. I would really appreciate that. And you can also grab your PDF download uh, in the description below this video, which will outline everything we talked about so that you have uh, everything in front of you laid out so you can keep practicing this stuff. All right, guys, thanks so much for checking this one out. I will see you in the next lesson.